So you guys, I just want to try to um, talk to you for just a few minutes. I got to go on in about six minutes on my shift from one to six tonight. And this is just uh, the upgrade that TurboTax gave me, which I'm pretty proud of being a tier two. And this is where you help where I was at my first position. You were actually helping those customers or those agents help their clients, I should say like that. But with Arise, I've got a couple different job opportunities because the one that I wanted to do, I got dropped because my background check didn't come back. It actually failed and it wasn't because of any bad stuff because I've had many background checks done, but it was because um, I wrote the company that um, is asking me for the background check. I wrote their name in the wrong spot. I wrote it where it said company in parentheses, but then it had it below it. And I went ahead and wrote it there, so they flagged it. So I had to do it all over again. Then I went and took my drug test this morning. And the second pos position that's up, the second job, I'm just waiting on my contractor to get a hold of me to let me know what the pay is. But this job, classes are in the evening, so uh, 1 to 5, which would be fine. I could still do TurboTax in the morning hours, like 8 to 1230 or something. And go from there and then these the opportunity for the job is actually from 9 to 6 Monday through Friday no weekends now the other one that I applied for and had to do the drug test for but this one you have to do a drug test for too so it'll be good because I'll have that cleared they had me fill out another one of those forms I just remembered this time not to put a rise on the one portion and just go from there I sent it back so Hopefully that will be good, but um, I'm thinking about dropping that class. These classes actually start on the 3rd of April. The The classes that I was going to actually start on the following week of April. So I'm trying to think of something like, what could I work and still get into pretty quick before the end of April? Because at the end of April, I won't be with TurboTax no more. My contract will be up. So... This job right here, is, which is what I'm waiting on, actually I start earning on the 17th of April. And they're therefore out. Now the other one, it's over here, excuse me. Um, the other one that I've got going on, I've got to file all this, I just haven't done it. And it's weird because this one is a solar company. This one is an actual energy company, like an electric company. Okay, my classes start on the 10th, and I don't start earning till May 8th. So you see why, like, uh, why this is going to kind of be a problem, because I don't want to be without income. So I'm thinking that one would be best. These are my um, flyers for my goat milk shares and products. i got to get that filed. And that's my drug test I took. Some information on my background check that came through, so that's all gonna go on a rise. I gotta watch my time. Two minutes. It's 57 right now, 12:57. So um, yeah, I could probably just keep you guys on, and you could just watch me for a while, but I don't want to bore you with that. But I thought I would uh, um get on. It is a beautiful day. There are a few fluffy white clouds floating around, but mainly blue skies. The sun has been shining since like. I've seen it come up around 7.30, I think it was. Um, the sun to the east was coming up. It was so beautiful, but so bright. Oh, um, I'm just very thankful that we've got sunshine, and I tell God that all the time. Thank you for the sunshine, because we could have really rough days, and you got to be thankful for those, too. But um, I'm going to have to probably finish this video later. And uh, actually sit down and talk to you guys about what's on my mind and um, how I do my shareholders and my raw milk and all this good stuff and go from there. Um, I put a lot of effort into these girls, raising them, uh, making sure that the milk has great taste. And uh, I, I really put a lot of effort in it. And I think my board fee of being $12 a week, which gives you a gallon of milk is dirt cheap because if you buy a quart at the store and a quart is um a quart so there's four quarts in a gallon so you have to buy four of them to have a gallon 
you're going to pay at the cheapest that I've seen is $25 a gallon. And the most I've seen is $38 a gallon. So my $12 a board fee per week, which would give you one gallon. So let's just say one gallon for $12. People are telling me that's too expensive. I put more than $12 a week, I'm sorry, into my goats for my time, my care, um, everything. And I, I was kind of like, I could not believe someone would say that. I, I was just, I was floored, like floored. But um, I got a gallon out this morning, and then I got to get a gallon out tomorrow morning, and then my shareholder will be here Thursday evening sometime to pick up her milk. But, you know, she drives, like, almost an hour to come here to pick up milk. Isn't that crazy? But she has no problem doing it. The taste is wonderful. The cost is cheap. I mean, seriously. $12 a week is too expensive. Who knew? I gotta go. Well, I got the information back from my partner who I'm underneath King's calling experts and uh, that job position that I was hoping to get you know um, it's actually two dollars less an hour than what the one that I've already applied for so I told her that I was just gonna pass on it because I want to be at least fifteen dollars or more an hour not thirteen fifty you know because even though I would appreciate that but I just think that I'm worth more than that, even from working from home, because of my um, all my activities that I know and, and having my HR management certificate. You know, I I paid for school to have that done. I'm not even working in that type of field, but I'm okay with that. I'll just wait for the one that I was really hoping to get to come back on. I'll just deal with the. Uh, um, possible uh, not being able to be paid probably for a two-week span and I'll just have to let all my debts know about that and then coming on with this one I'm gonna get paid until um, I can start classes on the one that I really want you know the one I was so excited about and then I got dropped because of my background check not clearing so I technically don't even need these on because I could just, I don't even have to talk to anybody, but it lets me know when a chat's coming through and uh, what's going on in, in the community here of all the other tier twos and pros. So I'm just kind of just sitting here. I'm clicking back and forth while I'm waiting for this client or agent, I should say, to deal with their client and he's they're actually typing right now because I can see that so um with that being said I mean it's just you kind of just gotta wait around I actually like this position way better than I do like picking up calls and having to transfer them and stuff but other than that I'm I'm pretty happy with what I'm doing right here working as a tier two I'm not saying it's easier because you're helping, you know, in that position where I was when I first started, you know, I was constantly, um, well, not constantly, but if I didn't know something, I was contacting tier two just to try to find out information. And a lot of them that I had were pretty rude. So I really try to put my personality and my, uh, sweetness into all my text messaging for them. And I've been keeping, a sticky notes of stuff that I'm just highlighting or copying and pasting to the chats because it's something that I know that I'll have to put in there anyways and it's faster for me to do it that way. So I'm just like <clears throat> links that I know that are pretty common that they're going to ask for. I'm keeping in my sticky notes. Um, if I'm dealing with two different customer or two different agents at once, I'll put that into my, my message there when I first, when they first come on. But so far, I only had two at the same time yesterday. It was at the end of my shift. And then most of the time it was just one at a time, which is kind of nice. But at the same time, it would be all right. 
please remember to log into Agent Assistant and CCCP and then go online to without logging into Agent Assistant and CPD, there is no way to ensure payment. For sure. <laughs> That's uh, on our community there. I'm just reading everything. Picked up an additional shift. TT or now. Yeah, I've been going back and forth, like, just looking at stuff. Um, making sure that, like, Hey, if I can pick up shifts, I'm gonna. But like, yeah, this one I've I've got almost forty hours on this day, or that week, the three twenty seven through the second. But I'm not working the weekend, so that's just out of the question. And my lunch hour that I took is almost filled up, so that makes me feel happy. And then the following week, I gotta be able which drops on Tuesday. So Tuesday I'll have to make sure to get my hours in for afternoon hours because my hours start on that one class I was telling you about. Where did I put that? Oh, I think I already filed it. Uh, on the 7th, I think, is when they start. So I'll still have one more week before the 7th. Or maybe they... When do they start? That's making me like, hmm... The seventh is on a Friday, so that can't be right. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty long video because I'm just chatting with you guys. Let me see real quick. So I can try to see where it's at because I'm confused now. Well, actually, I can look right here. Duh. <laughs> I forgot that I got a rise on here too. So I can just flip back here. Um, my program. Uh classes start April 10th so that is the following Monday so I'll still have one more full week that I can get as many as hours as I want in as long like I'm still really really checking on uh, I have to tell him like Copy this. And then I can come back on here. Sorry. <laughs> Just put you guys like this. Um, and then I'll copy this. And paste. And then I'll wait. But I'm going to go ahead and click off of the 14th because today's the 15th. Today's actual tax day. I mean, everybody's like freaking out, freaking out about it, freaking out. I didn't even realize March 15th was tax day. I thought it was April 15th, but everybody's saying it's March 15th. You got people that are panicking over that, so... Um, Just put that there. I'm still waiting on my. I know that they're on spring break this week, so it's probably why I haven't gotten it. But my scale for my milk weight, so I can start testing once a month to get my girls, especially my two. Patsy, she'll be. I don't think they ever calculated Mavis, so Patsy will be a one star milker. She should be a two star milker because Mavis made her mark as a three-year-old um, first-year freshener. I mean, she, she produced quite a bit, almost 3,000 pounds. So she was she was a good goat, I could say that much. But yeah, so classes start on April 10th, and they're from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I will have to make sure to schedule my classes for like 2 to 6 maybe. That'll give me like three, four, five, six, like four, four hours a day, which isn't bad. That's about like 23 hours a week or so. But that's what I'm going to have to do because that could give me an hour to like relax, to kind of cool down from class, try to do a little bit of my work. Because I know there's four hours of class time where you have to be in class and then they want you to work two hours a day to uh, 
actually um, go down for. So then I went ahead and asked them if they needed if they needed any more help. I didn't get an answer back, so a couple minutes went by. And then I told them, thank you for contacting Tier 2 and have a blessed rest of your shift. Then I'll wait a minute, and then if they still don't contact back, then I can end the chat and go from there. It says I'm 75% completed for this um, energy customer care position. So what this position actually is, is I'm doing um, I already got a call. I already got one back in. So I have to just to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly. Though this is quite large, I still have trouble seeing it, and I think it's just because of the the lighting. Because I got a window behind me, and then I got the light coming in, and it's just it's almost hard to see. And then I've got two monitors here, right? But I'm only able to use both the big monitors are on as the same thing because I can only. I was getting okay so that's a new one I don't know what that is um, come here that's not what I wanted So, okay, so we'll see what it says. Or see what this links opens up to. I always try to make sure that um, I have files and that I can make sure that open up to them. And then back just to make sure I can't go back maybe I should put this one in my notes too because this might be something that I don't know that might be there who knows so I can go like this okay go behind it and turn a couple times and this is for 
a rejection of 8915-F link. That way I can um, just have it on, available on there, you know, you know what I'm saying? That way I'm not sure if they would even, you know, ask me to come back next year, but I would probably come back as a tier two because I don't mind doing this. I actually think this is better than um, dealing with actual clients, if that makes any sense. So we'll wait. What you have to do when you send links is let them take the time to actually, um, see what's going on. Almost looks like that gate is open inwards too. But I think it's just the way that it looks. Man, we're, we're going to be like at 20 minutes on this, guys. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd get back on here and tell you guys. That it looks like I'll just be staying with this company right here, Arise, but through this energy customer care position. And uh, I would just be doing that. And I'll just hopefully still work through the end of April with TurboTax. And that'll at least give me maybe the difference of where my pay will overlaps maybe. I'm not sure, but hopefully I won't have a couple weeks where I don't have pay because... Working Solutions is every two weeks, just on different weeks you're paid. Arises every two weeks, just on different weeks you're paid. So, um, Working Solutions also has a for moms. I think it's what it's called. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys about it real quick. I thought about um, asking for it, but I decided not to. See, I could really add more hours on this week which is next week, if I wanted to work later, because I'm already working until 5, I could add an extra hour on work till 6. I think that's what I'll do, just so I can have the hours. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add my hours here till 6. And it will just give me a few more hours. Why not, right? It gave me five extra hours. So then it puts me at 31.25, and that's for the week of the 20th. So I can change that. I'll write it out. That's why I've got these. I ordered these off Amazon. It came with 20 of them for like 10 bucks. So I was like, I needed some white out because it seems like I got scribbles everywhere because I keep changing. If I see hours that I can grab, I'm going to grab them. But I don't want to work till too late. But my husband is, he's got a lot of um, like working more later hours. So I can work till at least six because he's not been getting home till just before then or at then so I'm just like it's okay it'll be good so okay let's go one more week out okay okay let me put in there just to reinsure them I've got you're doing a great job That is something they should know, right? Exactly. Okay, so this is the week of first week of March, and I'm working till five thirty. It looks like, which gives—I mean, I could work till six even. Why not? That'll give me forty hours, right?
half. Let's see what's that give me. 40 hours exactly. I'm going to take it. Why not? So that's the week of that week. So I need to take this out. And light out this. Still waiting, so I've got 40 hours for that that week. Yeah, I'm happy, right? Even though I gotta work till six, but that's okay. Because like I said, my husband's working longer hours, so that gives me the chance to work till at least six when he's either leaving work or just getting home at six, so it works out, you see what I'm saying? And that's I'm okay with that. Because that just gives me a little more time to sit here and have to do stuff. Okay. So that is till 6, so I can't, unless some hours came up above there, I won't, like, have any hours available. I just kind of flicker through them, just to see, you know. Yeah, there's nothing available. And then I do the previous week, which is the week I'm working on now. Actually, Friday, Ooh. why is that like that? I can add an hour there. What am I on though? Two, okay. So I'm going to grab that. What's the 17th? Oh, it's this Friday. Yeah, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this case they release it okay so I'll grab that It'll give me a little more hours for this week which I'm okay with that see the whole weekend is available and I'm not working it so that was for this week I'm working right now. So that'll give me just another hour and a quarter. I could work till 6 today, but I'm only scheduled till 5, I think. I think. So I can put that down as 25 hours. And 50. Yeah, so I think I'm only scheduled till 6 today. Or 5. No, it says I'm scheduled to six. And that's today. So if that says I'm working till 6, I better like check my schedule because I might be scheduling myself till 7 maybe. That's today, Wednesday. And that's till 6. So actually I'm, I'm scheduling myself till 7. I don't think I want to do that. Those two days. I've got all these spam calls calling me. Just quit calling me. time is that for? I can't see because my thing is too big. I think it says 6 o'clock, but I'm not on there till 6. Today's only, that is, that's to 4. This is to 5. Why does it say I'm there till 6? Today's only 15th, right? Yeah, why does it say I'm working till 6? that's the case I'll have to take these two hours off and then I'm screwed because I've scheduled myself till that's to five which would be six I only want to go till five 
where it says six, you know, and then I don't understand. Yeah, I think I did. That's what I did. I scheduled myself to seven on those two days. This is what I'm going to do. Take them out because I don't want to work till seven, which is going to drop my hours. And I'm going to be at 30 minutes, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and just tell you guys thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that you guys um, have a great evening. And I will see everybody tomorrow. How about that? Thank you again. Please subscribe if you're new. For all our new subscribers. And we'll see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless.